Good morning and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay on this morning. I know that I am. I am up early because I got to get out and, and work. But I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video in the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those good, fantastic things, okay? Um, Yeah, if you would like to support the channel, you could definitely uh, support the channel via Cash App or Super Thanks. You can see the Super Thanks at the bottom of the screen, okay? I wanted to talk about Yogati is still um, Yogati is still taunting Young Doll's artist, and I could go hard this morning, but but I won't go hard because um, I just won't. Okay. Um, and the reason that I won't go hard is because there's some stuff that's in the atmosphere. I'm talking about as it relates to uh, many different people praying as it relates to. Uh, this label and I remember even yesterday somebody told me if we're gonna we're gonna pray this stronghold hold down let God do it okay but I gotta th talk about how I think it's just, and let God get back you know because I, I understand he's been accepted by the elites okay at this point and um, he thinks that he is untouchable but even the elites ain't got nothing on God as I say that God get back ain't nothing nice. Um, I think it's a darn shame before God what this label and its affiliates. And when I say that, I mean the affiliates um, uh, that is a, that the artists that are on his label that have labels, okay, have single handedly really been uh, the the people within itself to commit genocide within the Memphis area. Um, you know, I was looking at um, Little Migos, okay, and I know they try to say that Little Migos, and it's just one, um, is no longer affiliated with them, but but, but Little Migos get ready to get them little dudes and Frazier messed off the long way. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. Um, you know, I, I think the other little dude is is talented that they are, they're pushing. But I hope those little guys know, um, you know, that it's, you know, I just, I hope they know. Okay. I hope they know. Because uh, I, I be wanting to see people do well. I do, especially when they're young. But what they have to understand is um, anything worth having, it does not come easy. And when people start messing with you, when they are in, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? When they are already, um, you know, in a lot of mess with other people, they come and get you to pull you into that mess uh, because they already know what it is as it relates to the feds being all over them. So they go get little dudes, give them guns, give them a little money, have parties, um, you know, and pull them into some stuff that's going to get them sent upstate the long way. OK, the long way. Um, I just I think that it's sad when I say that they are committing genocide. Um, they doing it one way or the other. You know, they are using these little dudes to go do hits. OK, it's sad that they don't tell these little dudes how to face all over them. And they get ready to get them sent away from their kids and their mamas for the rest of their lives. OK, and. um so then what end up happen, happening what ends up happening is that um if the feds don't get them there are some retaliatory situations that they put themselves and their families in or the state and or, or the state going to start killing them because they're getting ready to start putting a death penalty at their feet to cut out a lot of this crime i think you all heard that district attorney say that them folks ain't playing. They fixing that stuff up every every single day so that they could do it, right? 
Um, and you start looking at some of these dudes and they got a demonic force that's all over them. That's all over them. I, I don't know what else to say. lamigo has got a demonic force that is all over him. And I don't think he's going to be able to, as the people in New Orleans say, Joseph State. He ain't going to be able to. That's the reason why he's putting the battery in the back of them little dudes around Frazier, right? But hopefully they open their eyes. But I wanted to, to uh, talk about how um, Yo Gotti, okay, um, is still trying to taunt Young Dolph's artists. I think it's a, it's a shame um, that he claims that he is a CEO. He's been accepted by the elites. He's been able to buy the woman that he claimed he always wanted. And he still can't leave them little dudes alone. I mean, he and his brother are the two people that consistently put that negativity in the atmosphere. And I'm so happy that it's not just me, that some of the people that really matters, that, that could stop a lot of this stuff. See that too. Okay. Um, you know, I think before uh, people might have had some mixed emotions, but as it starts to get worse, and that's what I say about folks when, um, when they want to be neutral and they're supposed to be politicians, but when things starts to get out of hand and folks start looking at removing them from their seat, um, it forces them to take a look at where the problem is really coming from. And if you look at him, look at some of these people, you know, if I'm if you're supposed to be this big CEO, you don't have time to throw out shots like that. You don't see Jay-Z doing that. You know, I kind of followed Jay-Z's career. I didn't see Jay-Z throwing out a whole lot of shots other than when it was on a record, when he was trying to sell a record. But he didn't take any of his TV time or video time or social media time to try and throw out shots at other people. So that kind of lets you know that he had he had officially made it right. But these people take every opportunity to try and taunt Young Dolph's artists. I want to show y'all this. And the same energy that they have, it seems like that the people around them, even if they don't have that energy in order to be around them, they have to have that energy. And the vloggers that they put on here got that same energy. Okay. But well, one thing for sure, you sure going to read what you sow. Okay. At this point, I don't think they care nothing. But I don't, I don't even think they believe in no God. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I want to pull something up. Hold on, y'all. I want to show y'all this and I, I want to look at it. I want to pull them up when I say it. This face right here. And let me just say this. We used to be proud of Yo Gotti. We, we, we was. I used to listen to his music. But I cannot be proud of anybody that is comfortable with promoting genocide in a community that he was raised up in. But God says, when I get them back, you're going to see me get them back. And it's some get back time. And he is at the ring leader of all of this stuff. His energy promotes whatever is going on beneath him. Okay. Look at him. We got four minutes. Come on. Share it. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Behind the scenes, a lot of y'all don't make it back here. You know what I'm saying? Fuck, they don't make it back this way. Do it. They don't make it back here. Do it. And so this is a way for him to consistently uh, uh, promote 
whatever. And, and you see the puppet masters, the puppets around, well, he's the puppet master. The puppets around him have to agree. Uh huh. Uh huh. Why not? If you supposedly great, why not just be great and be, and be in the back? I mean, ain't nothing more. I mean, it ain't nothing spectacular about walking through the back, but why try and promote that after you help allegedly to take out another Memphian that was on the rise that you could not stand to see coming up. But your name went in a job, nigga. You're going down. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, you're going down. And it ain't because of the prayer warriors that have zoned in on you and your people. It is because the real people has honed in on you and your people. That's just for a speedy arrest. Okay, let's continue on. No more a and country. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't make it bigger. Okay. Him and Angela want to be Jay Z and Beyonce so bad, and nobody else would wouldn't mind that. You know, and I, I could be proud of Glorilla. I don't even talk about Glorilla because I be wanting to see little sister do good. But we already know they're raking over the coals, right? Uh, she just happened to be famous because we already know fame and wealth is not associated. It's supposed to be, but it's not. So we already know what's going on as it relates to those contracts. But she's comfortable with being famous and big famous and and getting a little money so that's cool but you know why that type of energy that's why i say that that this label you supposed to be a ceo that's why i say we have to be very meticulous about who we choose uh to support okay as if we're not careful about who we choose to support uh this is the type of energy that is put into the atmosphere I think that is very unfortunate. And like I said, they've said him and his crew, their 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 energy is we don't really care. We making money. We don't really care how they suffer. Them little dudes that we can give them some money to go mess their life up. Hey, that's on them. And that's exactly um, um that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what they're doing. So, but to still consistently try and taunt young dogs artists and you know, people sp speculate that they was a part of it okay um it's just sick on another level y'all see how they're consistently releasing those demonic uh forces into the atmosphere okay um let me see some and then feel like they can put a hit on everybody okay uh that's i'll be glad when they vloggers get got because they're gonna get got hold on I'm trying to show you all something. I, I want to show y'all this. With the big speaker, six months in, I read on the carpet. Yeah, man. You see that? The biggest, man. These boys ain't going this way to the BT award. These uh, niggas ain't going this, this way. They ain't going this way, They ain't going this way. Yeah. <laughs> this is not the regular entrance, man. <laughs> Fat Fox, man, you out of here already. <laughs> going to the back of the BT. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, but, but they supposed to be bosses, okay? Uh, I've I've been around many of bosses when they, they, don't, they don't do it like that. You don't ever know how a real boss feeling. I'm telling you. You don't ever know how they feeling. Uh, I've I've been around real bosses. Okay. You can't read them for nothing. They don't throw out shots. Okay. I'm I ain't telling I'm telling you what I know. All right. Um I want to let's let's go here. But y'all see that energy that they are consistently putting into the atmosphere, right? That negative energy, like 999. Now, we got our CEO and we took y'all's out, okay? Um, Hold on. Let's see, let's see this. 
See, they jealous of Key Glock. Key Glock says, if ye made a M, you better get you one. Laugh out loud. Okay. And Kenny Money says, if only y'all knew what be going through my head sometimes. Okay. So that's Key Glock. That's Kenny Money. Looks like they might, they're out there in LA. Uh, looks like they got heavy security. And so I'm happy uh, to see that. Uh, it looks like professional security. And they should have them because it's a darn shame that these folks are jealous. Are they want to take somebody out? You you could tell by the way they act. They got they 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 going in through the back entrance like the slaves did, um, you know, because it ain't nothing about going in through the back entrance. OK, uh, folks, uh, folks worked hard. You know, that's what the laws and stuff, those civil right laws and stuff. Folks was working hard to try to get in, go in through the front entrance, right? So <laughs> it ain't nothing about going in through the back, right? And so, um, anyways, um, kick locking them is out there, and it uh, it looks like they have heavy security, and I'm happy that they do. Okay, I'm happy that they have heavy security. Kick lock said, if you ain't got a million, get you one, because it ain't nothing about being famous. Get get you some money some real wealth and that is what his ceo promoted and i'm happy that um his ceo promoted that because that's what you're supposed to be promoting in the black community not continuously promoting what the slave masters and the and the power brokers uh that's other want you to promote in the black community and there's so many cuckabug nappy neck cuckabug kids like Gotti that is comfortable with promoting being famous and raking these little dudes over the coals with these contracts and they ain't really got no real wealth but key glock standing up there because his ceo taught him about real wealth you know and those are the types of people that we want to keep alive in the community so that they can help the community what these little dudes don't know is when they sign them to become ops or to put them on their ops because that's exactly what they do um, you know, they have them to go take out people that could actually help them in the rap game. Right. But I want these little dudes to know, um, cause I was looking at a couple of those little dudes. I know one of them, I know one of them, one of them's mother real well. Okay. And I think I want to have a talk with her, uh, cause they get ready to get her son missed off the long way. I'm talking about as far as going doing time. Okay. And so these little dudes, if they in it for um, for for rapping, you know, for for whatever reasons, I'm sure they feel like they get into rap to make money and things of that nature. But um, what these dudes is ultimately doing is having them to sign a death certificate. They ain't signing them for the right reasons. They signing them so that they can be their hitman and go do their jail time. OK, it seems like that it is it is like a um, history is consistently repeating itself. It started from the very top from when it looks like your God, it was doing it to black youngster. And it's kind of trickling down that effect. Money bag. Yo did it. Black youngster did it. Now, little Migos doing it, you know, and like I said, that it seems to me it is in my opinion and, and a whole lot of other people that this label has single-handedly and its affiliates is single-handedly committing the reasons for the genocide being committed in the Memphis and surrounding areas. And it's got to stop. These young dudes got to open their eyes. They got to get off of these drugs and open their eyes because they keep them high, stoned out of their mind. And then they go do some stuff that gets them messed off for the rest of their lives. And when they come down off of that high, some judge send up saying you've been sentenced to death or to life. Okay. And so then what these labors are doing is they go, Oh, okay. You know, we, we did our part. We got you the best lawyer. We get you. That's the least they could do. They already know you ain't going to get off. And then they go get somebody else and we talk about a record deal and then start trying to send them out to do his look at what the young guy um that was signed up on the black youngster i can't think of that little dude's name from out of south memphis but
but he has the he had the little dude next to him name that was on Wicked. Um, is it J ninety? I I can't remember the little dude that was with next to him name was Little Taco or something. But look at what they were trying to get them to do, right? Um, and it's unfortunate that you know they go and have these parties and they give them these big machinery weapons that the feds are already looking at. <laughs> put them on Instagram and stuff for their ops to see not caring that the feds is sizing them up and got a, a date, a rest date for them. You know, um, like I said, all of this money that's being wasted on uh, trying to give these little dudes to go take out their ops, why don't they put them in front of business, um, business consultants? If they say they got money like they got, put them in front of business consultants. And things of that nature. And why don't, why don't you help them the real way? Help their families the real way. It's a lot of talent over there in Frazier. Okay. My folks from, uh, my, my dad's folks from over there in Frazier and North Memphis. The long way. Okay. And they still over there. Okay. So, you know, it, it kind of, it, it bothers me. Because I, I, I see and I know what's getting ready to go on. And it's a lot of talent over there. But they being signed for the wrong reasons. And these folks know the feds. They go, these dudes ought to be insulted. They know the feds all over them. So we're going to get these little dudes right here. And get them to do, give them some money, give them some weapons, get them to do our dirty work, put them on social media, showing their guns and the feds taking pictures left and right. Because the majority of them got, um, you know, backgrounds. Okay. They getting every, collecting everything they can to use in court against them. And then the puppet master standing back looking in their camera saying, yeah, ops, this is what we got. This is what I got for y'all. I went and got these little dudes under the guise of signing them, but really to do my hits and to put them on my ops, which equals getting their lives messed over because they can't win against the government. I keep saying it. These folks can't win against the government. Let me go. Money ain't long enough. Okay, none of them. God is ain't either. Okay, so, but yeah, he's still trying to taunt young Doss artists. You know, um, you take out a king, and you want to laugh about it every day, but God says when I get them back, you are gonna see me get them back, and it's 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 get back time, it's get back time, you know, um, it's get back time. All right. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. This genocide and they should be ashamed of themselves. God going to get them for this genocide that they're committing within the Memphis, them and their affiliates. And they're promoting that. OK, it's so sad that a lot of these people don't have guidance that they don't know um, that you don't let people send you out to take you away from your family one way or the other because you have to think about retaliation against yourself against your family but you if nothing else you definitely gonna do life and they fixing it what these folks gonna do death and your god ain't got a care in the world about that because he feel like it ain't gonna touch him he just sent out the people that's up under him to go find somebody that they think don't mean nothing right to go take out um their opposition when they jealous of them and then even when they, it starts getting tough, look at what happened to Teasy. Teasy was used until they couldn't use him no more. And then somebody right around him took him out. This ain't nothing that just started happening. It's been happening because I've been saying it. I worked for the folks for 18 years and I still do cases. Okay. So this ain't nothing new. It's been going on. These parents need to get into their children's lives. And start teaching them right from wrong. It's going to have to start at home. I mean, because if it don't start at home, these OGs ain't worth nothing now. The majority of them. They want to send your kids out to do their dirty work. 
and they actually think that they're going to be able to have a contract and be famous. If Stray Drop didn't teach them, I don't know what to say. So then when one get caught, they just go get another one. And they have the nerve to think that they're going to get away with it. They can't get away with it because the folks is on them. Them folks going to be indicted any day. And anybody that they sign in to do their dirt going right down with them. It don't make no sense. Okay. But anyways, you guys, I got to run. I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. But I had to do it on a light note. You know, because we did a lot of praying. And it's sad that it appears, it, it is in my opinion, that this label by itself, even though Memphis has been um, the, the main source, especially when nobody knew them, of helping them to come up and they're promoting genocide, them and their affiliates in the Memphis community. I don't like what they're doing when they sign these little dudes. Even though these little dudes know better, they go get these little dudes because they know they ain't got nothing. Okay. And so it's unfortunate. That's why I say it has to start at home that they think that they can commit hits and things in that nature to come up. It ain't going to work out. They can't win. That's the reason why they're getting y'all to do their dirty work. So y'all can go do the time because they know they can't win. Not with the government, the government on them. Okay. Somebody got to say it. All right. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to support this channel, you could definitely support this channel via Cash App. I got to run. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.